back with more Your Kentucky in a Home, and I'm here with Jill Thompson, the lead designer on this beautiful Mockingbird Valley home. Jill, tell us how you got started in the business of design. Okay, great. My background is in interior design. I've been a freelance designer most of my life. I worked in Dallas, Texas for several years until we moved here to Louisville, Kentucky. And I've been hearing about Amy Wagner for years and just love the platform that she provides. There's three tiers to this company, moving management, interior design, and staging. And they all three just go hand in hand. It just makes perfect sense to help a buyer and a seller go hand in hand all the way through the process. And I was so excited to be a part of her team as of last year. Well, we're excited to have you on the show and in Kentucky. What made you move from Texas to Kentucky? That's a big haul. My husband's business brought him here. Okay. Um, yeah, he'd been uh, working on a project with lg and &E, and we just fell in love with this town and we wanted to stay. Well, we're glad you stayed. You got to stage this gorgeous home. And the space and the fact that it was already neutral, the colors were neutral when you got in here really allowed you to play. Absolutely, and that was so key in using my design background. We have an inventory of several um, couches, sofas, um, tables, lamps, anything that we would need, and we spent a lot of time planning these jobs so that we can pull color in to make everything flow. So I love how you, how you guys put the three living areas in this big space, and you talk about you know, the colors coming all together, and you can really see that here. Can you tell us a little bit about the colors that you used? Yes, well, we had a background. The wall color is a nice putty, which is a very neutral, uh, on-trend color. We have a lot of beautiful stonework in this home, and the backsplash, and the tile work, and then the beautiful fireplace. So I was just able to select from our inventory some beautiful blues, and putty colors and browns to make the whole thing come together. And each of those colors flow through each of these living areas in this great room. Well, great, it's a beautiful space. Thank you so much for joining us today. We'll be back with more Your Kentuckiana Home. If you're interested in seeing this house for yourself and scheduling a showing, use the contact information on your screen. Hey, we're here today and we want to show you something that we're really starting to get into the season on and that's battling mosquitoes. Uh, first and foremost, if you've got any standing water, I know bird baths are real pretty and they're cute and everything, but if you're not constantly changing that water, you're making a habitation for them mosquitoes to grow. First thing I want to cover is aerial, like you want to control the area of mosquitoes. You can use any uh, of the, the torches, uh, there's, there's a list of them forever. A friend of mine. She uses this every time that she's going to have a family gathering. You kind of cover the yard and it'll keep them down for a little while. But the, what I find to be the most useful is when me and my wife are going to do something, we do a lot of outdoors and I do a lot of hunting and fishing, is the personal sprays. Now all of them are going to come up and, and, and I guess the sum total to make it real easy is the amount of DEET that is in each one. The more DEET, the longer lasting that it's going to be. Now when you get to deep formulas that are up above probably 50%, they're not gonna be real plastic friendly, so you don't wanna spray your hands and be rubbing on your cell phone because it's gonna kinda give it a sticky melt feeling to it. This one here is, I believe, is gonna be a 25% deep. I always take spray it around your ankles where your shoes and socks are gonna meet, around your sleeves. This is gonna be a little bit longer lasting. Something that they've come up on now is all natural mosquito repellents. This has a lemongrass and peppermint in it. It don't smell, it's really gonna knock them out. It works on all three types of mosquitoes that we have around here. Uh, Repel makes one that is almost 100% natural lemongrass. Those are excellent, long lasting, and it'll cover all the mosquitoes. So you don't wanna really uh, get into putting a spray on you. You're gonna go out to dinner later on or whatever. There's a product out that's called Thermosel. Uh, we're, we're currently sold out of the actual appliance. This is the refills. This gives you a 15 foot area. You can put these in there, turn it on, and gives you a 15 foot circle around you. Seems like mosquitoes love my wife better than, than people love buffets. They just tear her up, but we can turn this on. She don't have no problem. I can take this hunting with me when I'm up in a tree, and I can turn it on. I don't have no problem with mosquitoes, gnats, no seams. 
the whole nine yards is completely sealed. You don't have to worry about it at all. So if you're trying to control some mosquitoes and you just want to sit outside and read, this would be the thing to use. If you're going to be cutting your grass, want a natural product, you can get this or the Repel Lemongrass. Going to be in the woods, taking hikes and trails, get some with a 25% deep just around your house. You can go down to a 10. These smell good, uh, but they have a much lower deep product uh, percentage in them. So this is how you can kind of combat them rascals that bite you all the time. Thank you for watching Your Kentucky Anna Home. Join us next week for another episode of Your Kentucky Anna Home, brought to you by Window World.